mistletoe And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you I've longed for this moment to have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week Tomorrow goodness me you can tell it is early good morning everyone and welcome back to vlogmas day three as you can see i am up very bright and early or i should say pitch black and early it's currently before seven o'clock and the sun has not even started to rise of course i've got all the lights on around me and i always feel like because it's like very blue outside and i'm sat beside the window makes me a little bit washed out and a little bit blue which is a shame because i fake tanned last night and i'm feeling very bronzy and very glowy and very good but the camera is not making me feel that way so we're just going to ignore the washed out bluey kind of light that is going on right now but it is a wednesday morning and i am heading into london i have got a really really exciting day plan there's nothing that i love more than london at christmas i must admit i think that they just do christmas so so well i feel like it's the one time of year that i miss living in london i absolutely love living in the country hampshire is just where my heart belongs i love being in the country i love going for walks i love being by the coast i love how like clean the air feels i feel like it's the best way to describe it and i love how easy it is to get into london and there's so many things that i love about hampshire but the one thing that always makes me miss living in london is christmas because it is just so magical no one does christmas better than london so i'm really excited to be heading in this morning i'm going to be heading to like green park bond street area if you're looking for like the best london christmas lights there's loads of like blog posts online i definitely recommend heading to bond street they have the most stunning i think it's new bond street i always forget if it's old bond street or new bond street but basically where like cartier chanel is all of those they do the most amazing christmas decorations cartier always decks themselves out out. Ralph's is where you should grab a coffee. They do the best coffees and hot chocolate. I absolutely love them. Chanel decorate. They've got, I think, different Christmas lights this year. I believe that they've gone for like a crown theme, um, which I read online that actually it wasn't deliberate to do with the Queen passing, but it just so happened that way. So I think they should have just played it off and been like, yes, of course it's to commemorate our Queenie because r.i.p first christmas without her um yeah i love bond street the ritz always looks absolutely amazing that's more like green park area um and fortnum and masons always do like this amazing like advent calendar decoration which is really fun um oxford circus of course they do like the stars which always looks absolutely amazing um they've done that for the last few years regent street is one of my favorites that's the angels and they just look absolutely magical and then what i quite like actually is you could literally just do a london christmas light tour if you wanted to start at green park start at fortnum and mason at the ritz walk down new bond street to oxford circus walk down oxford street all the way down to oxford circus and then walk down regent street and then carry on going to st james that's where they've got that like lovely kind of coppery christmas tree it's honestly just so magical i know carnaby street always do big christmas lights i don't really kind of tend to go to carnaby street it's not really my vibe but if you like really like big colorful if you want like a fun night out in london carnaby street is a great one to look at and in mayfair do some amazing lights obviously harrods in kensington is absolutely magical there are just so many gorgeous christmas lights and so many like independent shops will do their own displays their own decorations it's absolutely amazing one of my favorite favorite things so yeah really looking forward to heading down to london today i've just been doing my makeup i am loving this charlotte tilbury lipstick i just applied this this morning it's like a really nice it's a really weird mixture between a lip balm and a lipstick it feels very 
thick so what i will say is a little bit goes a long way i feel like the other day i applied maybe a little bit too much um so it's quite dark on my lips i've done a lot less today and i feel like it's a lot better because it's quite um pigmented for like a lip balm i've never used anything like this so of course i still have my farfetch discount code make sure to go and check out that video if you want to see what else i've been picking up i have been loving this and the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous look at this little if my camera wants to focus, I think it's really struggling with the light. I don't think it's going to focus, but it's got these really cute little, like, starburst design, which is so, so lovely. So, um, so yeah, just finished doing my hair and makeup. I've gone for straight hair today, which, of course, use my GHD straighteners with. I washed my hair last night, so it's all feeling really lovely and, like, soft and fresh, which I absolutely love. And you might be able to tell I don't actually have any of my jewellery on yet this morning. I've not styled it up yet because I thought that we could do that together. You guys know that I'm a Pandora ambassador and I love styling up my Pandora jewellery. It's one of my favourite things to do. I literally have, like, two jewellery boxes full of Pandora jewellery now. I love mixing and matching. I've got a few, like, favourites that I just always gravitate towards that I always find a so easy to style, easy to wear. But one of the things I love about London shoot days is being able to like style up my jewelry and create like a really lovely stack of pieces. I think it's really, really fun. I can't remember if I mentioned that I was shooting today. But heading into London, I actually have a shoot day which will be really fun. And then we are going to be doing a little bit of shopping. I'm going to be meeting up with Charlotte, which I'm really looking forward to. You guys know how much I adore Charlotte. I love shoot days with her. They are just so much fun. We usually just do a few outfits, go and grab some lunch, you know, maybe grab a coffee. So I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, it's really fun to be able to like style up my jewelry for shoots and just see what's going to work. So obviously I'm going to be wearing a few different outfits. Um, so it's quite nice to see what's going to work with multiple looks so i'm going to start off with bracelets this is one of the ones i have been loving recently it's like a bangle it's kind of a mix between the snake chain bracelets and the bangles that pandora do and i must say this has definitely become a favorite because it's a really lightweight bracelet so i always wear it on my right hand because i don't know about you but you know when you're on your laptop there's nothing i hate worse than when i've got really heavy jewelry on and it clicks and clacks against my laptop so i like to wear something quite lightweight and this is really lovely and lightweight it's just a really gorgeous like snake chain bangle and it kind of like shimmers can i show you that it kind of glitters in the light so i always this has definitely been my most complimented bracelet i've had so many people that have buy this that have bought this because of me like friends family members it is just an absolute favorite so i'm really loving wearing that on at my right hand at the moment and i feel like my left hand i think i might do a bit of a mixture of metals today so in terms of left hand i think i'm going to do a mixture of silver and gold which i'm really enjoying these are the pandora me charm bracelets which i really really like they're super like easy to wear super easy to style and what i like about them is they're easy to get on and off it's something i've definitely noticed with my jewelry recently the things that i gravitate more towards are the pieces that i can easily get on and off myself because there's nothing worse than when you want to be a strong independent woman and you've got to call your boyfriend in to put your bracelet on for you so I really like pieces that I can just clip on really easily myself and I love how these two pieces look styled up together I feel like the gold and silver always work so so well together and I love how these looks so they're really easy ones to start again they're very lightweight and obviously I'm going to be wearing lots of long sleeves I do find that in winter I change my jewellery a lot because I've got much more long sleeves so I feel like a lot of the jewellery gets hidden a bit more but I really really like those bracelets i'm gonna leave that i feel like that is just the perfect amount i never like to go too heavy especially when it's just a daytime look now i'm gonna move on to rings i think i'm of course going to be wearing my halo ring this is literally my favorite one they don't do this anymore but i did recently pick up a similar similar style so if you like the halo ring this one is super similar to that it's a really lovely like double one but personally my old one is just my favorite i love how like sparkly it is i always again get so many compliments on this i think it just looks so so lovely and then i think on the other hand i'm going to wear my knot ring on my first finger and i think i'm going to wear the crisscross ring on my ring finger i really love this crisscross ring it's so pretty it's one of those rings that's just is the focus going to work honestly it's struggling so much with the light but i really love this ring because it looks like you've got a stack on when you actually don't i think it's really really beautiful and i think ring wise that is my face thank you very much one of the things i hate about this lighting why does it make me look like i've got such a moon face i feel like my face just looks so round it is not cute not a vibe um but anyway 
that's what I'm going to go for in terms of rings. Now, what am I feeling in terms of earrings? I think I might actually just go for my favourite studs. I have been absolutely loving these blue sapphire studs recently. They are so gorgeous. But I've got a couple of outfits that probably won't go well. I'm wearing a bit of green today. Um, so I think maybe not these. But look at how beautiful. They just glimmer. I've had so many compliments on these, but I think I might just wear my plain silver ones today. Oh, how pretty do they look? Do you know what? Ever since getting my hands on these studs, I have barely worn hoops or danglies or anything else since. I feel like I'm a stud convert, and it's so funny because I used to think the studs were such an old lady's jewellery. I feel like it's because I never got the right ones. I never got ones that really suited me, and I do love that, like, really simple just like classic country grandmother aesthetic i think it's so so beautiful and then again i'm going to mix the metals i'm going to wear a gold necklace and what i really like about this is it's got a really similar stud to the earrings um it's got that kind of like diamante style in the middle now as much as i'm loving my pandora diamond necklace i do not think i would wear that on a shoe because obviously i'm changing outfits a lot you know things are on and off um i'm going to be walking around london so for me diamonds and not one to wear on a shoot day but this looks like a diamond so it's so so pretty and i love how well it pairs with the earrings i think they just look really really lovely together so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna wear in terms of jewelry loving the stack loving the mixture of metals i always talk about how you can mix your metals and sometimes i get asked questions about like how you know a lot of people maybe gravitate more towards one metal and they want to start mixing them and they want to start experimenting with their jewelry so hopefully this shows you how easy it is that you just silver ring gold ring silver bracelet gold bracelet like it's so easy and especially with the pandora pieces that are so designed to be worn together like they're designed to mix up they're designed to be stacked so those kinds of pieces are so easy to start mixing your metals like these are literally the exact same bracelets one in silver one in gold and they look so amazing together and you can even do it with like your jewelry if you've got multiple piercings on your ears I think it will look really cool to maybe do like a silver stud and then like a gold stud or something like that. Or maybe like a gold pair of hoops and a silver stud would look really, really amazing. And of course, you can even layer up a few different necklaces as well. I know some girls really go to town with their necklace layering. I personally prefer a little bit more pared back, especially for just like a daytime look. Um, but I really, really love being able to do that. So I hope that shows you just how easy it is to layer up your jewellery. And as I said... You know how much I adore my Pandora pieces. So I'll leave these all linked down below. This isn't a part of my ambassadorship at all, just in case you're wondering. This is literally just me answering questions um, because I always get asked about like how I layer things, how I stack things, and most importantly, how I mix my metals. So yeah. So outfit of the day. As you can see, I've gone for a very plain, very simple all black outfit. And that's just what I love about the jewelry. It's just how much it like elevates your look. Why does my hand look like it's a completely different color? What is going on there? Um, <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this lighting is just so always so difficult to vlog with. So please do bear with. Unfortunately, winter in the UK is just like this for many, many hours of the day. Um, but yes, I absolutely adore how the jewellery just like elevates the look and just really helps with simple outfits and just kind of like making them look a little bit a little bit more exciting as you can see i've got my suitcase behind me all packed i'm ready to go with a few outfits but this is what i'm going to be wearing in london today it's like a really simple look i've just gone for a black roll neck with my favorite black slip skirt this is actually an old top shop one but i'll see if i can link something similar down below because i always get questions about it because you know how much i love a leg slit and in terms of shoes i'm wearing my vivaya boots because if you are looking for a pair of little heeled sock boots these are the comfiest sock boots i've ever owned in my life i'm not the biggest heel wearer especially when when it comes to like walking a lot i usually don't like wearing heel boots whereas these oh my word they are the comfiest thing they actually have a little bit of cushioning under the ball of your foot and it really really helps just in terms of like making them so much comfier and easier to wear the heel's not too high but like high enough that it gives you a little bit of elevation and a little bit of height and then coat wise i'm actually giving you the biggest sneaky peaky into something that is coming tomorrow i could not wait and i just wanted to wear it today so this is going to be coming in tomorrow's video so don't look too closely i'll be styling it up tomorrow for you guys but in terms of bags i'm actually just going to be taking my mark jacobs tote bag because i want to take my laptop into london today obviously with vlogmas there's a lot of editing a lot of admin to be done and i'm a one-man band so i'm going to make the most of the train journey time and start editing a few videos on there and just trying to get ahead of the vlogmas edits because that is one of the things that takes up the most time during december that obviously you guys don't see is the editing of all the vlogs it takes 
hours absolutely hours especially when you've got things like time lapses the video where i was putting up my christmas decorations took me so long to edit because there's loads of time lapses i think there was about four hours worth of footage there that i've got to cut down to a 30 minute vlog so yeah i'm going to be taking my laptop along to london with me so i just want to take my mark jacobs tote bag so it's a very dark very all black outfit but you guys know how much i adore all black it's very sleek very chic and very me so yeah i'm getting very warm in this coat it is such a snuggly one but i don't want to show you guys too close because i don't want to give away tomorrow's video so make sure that you check back in tomorrow if you want to see more about the coat and we need to head off into london so if i chat to you anymore i'm gonna miss my train so i will catch you guys when we're in london when we see all the festivities all the Christmas decorations. I am so, so excited. Oh, my word. <laughs> wow, it is busy in London today, but look how pretty Charlotte looks. I'm loving your hair. Thank you. I, when I tell you it's hard, it's like hard as rock. <laughs> it is not moving. It's not moving. But look at how pretty the roads look. Oh my gosh, we're just walking through. And it looks so magical. Oh, it looks like they're still putting up some of the decorations. All the best of vibes. Oh, it's making me so happy. You got no oh, more. Like, like, person. They don't look that big in person. Like when you see them. No, like from far away. They don't look big from far away. Look at that. Well, that ruins a little bit of the magic seeing them put it up, but still, look at it. It's so pretty. I am on my way. I'm in motion. To the ocean, yeah, let's go outside. So we have just stopped for a coffee at Ralph's, which is literally our favorite, favorite place to hit whenever it gets festive. Great people watching spot. This place even makes you festive. And you're not the most festive person ever. No, no. So. Do you know what, actually? I like these decorations because they're not red. Yeah, it's like the really nice, like, they're heritage, neutral. dark greens. Yeah. yeah. Red. It's not really you, is it? Or red. Usually they're red and gold, and I'm, I, I like Christmas red and gold, but not as a background. Yeah, they've actually changed the tree this year for the first time. I think Ralph's has sponsored the tree. Hello, Van. Thank you for that. Ralph's have sponsored the Christmas tree this year because they've got Ralph's baubles on it. I don't know if you can see, but there's like little teddy bears. It's got the um, the check, and then Cartier this year. It's different. They've updated the decorations. They've got the classic like Cartier bow on it, but they've got these little baubles. Let's see those baubles light up. Yeah, I reckon that'll look really amazing at night. Boodles has gone pink. Boodles always says pink. I don't really like that. Yeah, they normally do that. I think it's being honest, my, I like gold and like... You just like it really like <laughs> neutral and classic. You should and, like, just you wait till you see my Christmas decorations. I before. cannot wait. They are like wooden, like little mm, acorns. Very like white company -esque. I can't wait to see it. I don't know why I do but. like that. <laughs> but yeah, if ever you're looking for the best hot chocolate in London, definitely come to Ralph's. They do such good hot chocolates. But yeah, we're just going to enjoy a nice hot chocolate, do a bit of people watching, have a little bit of a chill and enjoy Christmas at Ralph's. I absolutely love it. Look at how red my nose has gone. It is so chilly today. I'm so glad I'm wrapped up warm in this coat. But I wanted to show you another brand that have changed their decorations this year. And that is Dior. They have gone ham. Look at that star on oh my word it's absolutely magical it is so busy here on bond street today if you are going to come down i'd always recommend coming as early as possible to see the lights all coming later when they're like lit up i cannot wait to see that dior decoration lit up i think that's going to look absolutely magical okay we've just been rating the um decorations on bond street this year louis vuitton don't normally decorate this year they've gone for an interesting interesting Lego. theme um i have one thing that i just i hope you see can you turn the camera around and shine it onto that Christmas tree? This Christmas tree. Don't those little bits of snow look like boobs? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they do. Don't look. They? <laughs> that looks like boobs. That looks like a bra. That literally looks like little boobies. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> I love that only you would notice that as well. But yeah, Louis Vuitton have gone for um, a Lego theme this year. Very strange. Not sure if this is really like on brand, if I'm really vibing with it, but they've also got a big, big suitcases right at the front. I mean, especially opposite Dior, it's just a little bit. Oh my God, look, they've got Lego stars as well. Yeah, not sure if I'm vibing with that. It's not fake. <laughs> can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be 
chilling and having a good, good time. Oh, I really like it though. Look at the wreath at the top. Oh, that looks really magical. Usually they go OTT. I said that's so cool. OTT. OTT. Oh, but I really like it. I think it looks really lovely. I like it, but usually they go OTT. Yeah, they do. that time when we first shot, like years ago, when I lived in Amsterdam, I came back and they had like boards on the Yes, I do remember. That was like one of the first times we'd ever met. Oh my God, funny. Look at us now years later <laughs> so we have just had the loveliest lunch and we are heading to the mothership i feel like it's not an ellie and charlotte day if we don't i'm not gonna spend money mm, well we are heading to <laughs> selfridges <laughs> Oh, I don't think we're looking for anything in particular, are we? We're just gonna have a wonder, yeah, yeah, have a nice explore. <laughs> Might be great chance to buy another bag. <laughs> right, let's go. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. London now looking a little bit worse of wear. I always feel like my eyes are the biggest giveaway when it comes to like tiredness. They are looking so puffy and so red. I cannot wait to take my makeup off, but oh my goodness, such a fun day in London. Nothing puts me in the festive spirit like a Christmas day out in London. Charlotte is not really the biggest festive person. It's so funny that we are such good friends because we are literal chalk and cheese. Like I will be wearing a glittery dress she'll be wearing like jeans and trainers it's absolutely hilarious but she really is like the yin to my yang and I absolutely love spending the day with her especially putting her in the festive spirit from a day in London even after she said to me you know what you've got me in the Christmas mood and I was like my mission has been accomplished because I'm that person that just wants to spread Christmas cheer to everyone I absolutely love it and I loved seeing all of the Christmas lights it literally felt like we had like a little bit of a London Christmas light tour because we saw so so many of them we obviously started up in Green Park by like the Ritz walked all the way down at New Bond Street and through Oxford Circus as well and it just looks so magical I love all the new lights that are on New Bond Street they are so gorgeous I love the fact that Cartier have changed their design this year it's not my favorite definitely not my favorite I think last year was probably my favorite I'm really sad that they've gotten rid of like the foliage from around the windows that's like my favorite thing that they always did I always thought it looked really really beautiful the like green next to the red but I like the fact that they've changed it up they're like switching it up every single year always love Ralph's they don't really change but I just love it it's so 
And I know Ralph's isn't a British brand. I know Ralph Lauren isn't a British brand, but it feels very British heritage when you're there. Like these kind of like dark green tartan check prints. I absolutely love it. I think I managed to show you, but the Christmas tree that is outside Ralph's, I think they've commissioned this year and they're sponsoring it because they have these really cute like teddy bear baubles and the like green tartan baubles around the tree. And it just looks absolutely magical. I love it so, so much. And I loved the like crown theme that they've got going through old Bond Street. It literally could not be an Ellie and Charlotte day in London without a trip to Selfridges. We just love it. We love wandering around, just like seeing what's new in. It's really funny because obviously like what we're gravitating towards is always so opposite. Like I was like, oh my God, that dress is gorgeous. And Charlotte was like, mm. And then she'd be like, oh my God, I love this sweater. And I'd be like, okay. It's just the funniest thing ever. Let me know if you have a friendship like that. When I was a kid, I never used to understand the whole like opposite attracts thing. But it really, really is true. But we are rapidly, rapidly losing the light. I hope it's not too orange. I've got the main lights on already. But I thought I would show you what I picked up. We didn't get much, actually. We were both quite restrained. I feel like it's because with it being Christmas, we're really focusing on, like, gifts for other people and, like, focusing on what we want to get as Christmas presents. So we weren't doing too much shopping for ourselves. But saying that, I did pick up a couple of beauty bits, actually. A few bits that I have been wanting to try out that I thought I would show you from YSL Beauty. Now YSL Beauty is one of those brands that I feel like is such a cult and I have a couple of products from them that I absolutely adore. And I thought, you know what? Now is the time to try some new bits. So the first thing I picked up is the YSL Two Chocla Foundation. Now I have the Two Chocla Primer and oh my goodness, it's amazing. It's one of those primers that just blurs your pores, like mattifies your skin, but not in like a, maybe not mattifies is the right word. I think the best way to describe it is like it literally airbrushes your skin, makes your pores disappear, it makes your skin look so smooth and so soft. And I've heard loads of people say some really, really good things about the Two Chocla Foundation. Um, so I was color swatching there and I picked it up in B10 which kind of looks like the most me color it's like a bit of a pinkier tone um, I must admit as much as I love that there's so many different shades out there now sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's like B10 and then there was like B510 and then B110 and I was just like oh my goodness which one exactly am I but this one was like the closest match obviously I do have a little bit of fake tan on as well so it's something to note but I like my foundation to match my fake tan shade obviously um so I'm really excited to try that. I feel like that could be a really lovely Christmas foundation because it's a little bit heavier coverage and I've heard it's perfect for like evening look. So if you're going out like partying, if you've got drinks, dinners with friends, things like that, that could be a really lovely foundation. So I thought that might be really nice to try. I then picked up the YSL Beauty Mascara Volume. This is the False Lash Effect Mascara. And again, it's one that I've heard some really, really good things about. I... One of the things I love about being an influencer is just how much, like, obviously being involved in the industry, I can see, like, what other people are loving, what other people are recommending. When people say that influencer marketing doesn't work, I'm like, lies, because I am in the industry, I'm an influencer myself, and I still get influenced by other influencers for what to buy and what to shop. So I've heard some really lovely things about this, and can we just talk about the packaging? Oh my goodness, I love this, like, silver and gold. This is basically epitomizing what I like with regards to like my jewelry because obviously I've been styling up my gold and silver jewelry recently and I feel like this is basically me my jewelry likes in a mascara one so I'm really excited to give that a go I think that might be a really really nice one and then lastly a new lipstick. I'm quite enjoying trying out the new lipsticks. I've had the Charlotte Tilbury on all day and I have topped it up once after we had lunch, but that's it. And I do find that it's the best kind of lipstick not to like swipe. It's best to like tap it and like use your finger to really blend it in. Um, and I remember I used to love the YSL lipsticks. Absolutely loved them. When I had my weekend job, worked on Saturdays, and I would literally like save up my weekend job money and buy these lipsticks. I used to absolutely adore them. And just look at that packaging. So this is the Double Care Balm High Color and Glossy Shine Lasting, Nourishing and Restore. And this is in Nude Pleasure. So it's basically kind of similar to the Charlotte's Tilbury, kind of similar to the NARS Lip Butter, where it's more like a moisturizing, balmy lipstick, I think is the best way to describe it. And I've definitely realized recently that that's the kind of lipstick I prefer. I don't like things that dry out my lips. I don't like being able to feel it. The worst thing I find is, you know, when you get that line on your lips where your like lipstick starts to clump. Oh, I hate it. I want something that's really moisturizing, really nourishing, especially at this time of year. So I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. I love the packaging. I'm going to um, 
give it a little try now in terms of the color the pink on the packaging isn't actually the pink of the color it's this like more nudie shade that's coming up really dark i think it's because of the um the false lighting that i've got going but i'm going to just i know i'm already wearing lipstick but i thought i'd just apply it over the top and mm, that is really really lovely just a beautiful like balmy feels quite similar to the charlotte tilbury lipstick that is so so lovely so i thought that was another one that would be great for this time of year great for this season for all of the parties and all of the events that i have got coming up so that's everything i picked up at selfridges as i said didn't go too hard we were quite restrained and quite proud of ourselves for not damaging our bank balances as we normally do when we go to selfridges but i am absolutely shattered now honestly a day in london just takes it out of me and seeing as though the light is fading so fast i think i'm going to leave this video here i'm gonna get my makeup off i'm gonna get into my comfies i might even run myself a bath tonight mm, that sounds like a really a really good plan so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed it coming along to festive london with me if you haven't hit the subscribe button make sure to do that because you don't want to miss a single video this month and i will see you tomorrow at 4 30 for another episode of vlogmas bye guys